everyone uh, welcome to another video may 2024 paper 2 number 2 the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 equals to 0 has roots alpha and beta without solving the equation uh, form uh, equation with integer coefficients that has roots alpha by 2 beta and beta by 12 okay so to form a quadratic equation there's a formula x square minus SORx plus POR equals to 0. And we have to f form the equation with roots alpha by 2 beta, beta by 2 alpha. But before that, we have a reference equation over here. 3x square minus 5x plus 1 equals to 0, which has roots alpha and beta. So first, we are going to find the sum of roots for the reference equation. So SOR would be and it is needed afterwards it will be needed afterwards minus b by a and that's equals to minus minus 5 by 3 and we need pur product of roots alpha into beta of the reference equation definitely c by a and that is 1 by 3 so this is 5 by 3 and this is 1 by 3 okay so the required roots are alpha by 2 beta beta by 2 alpha here i'm going to apply the addition of these two roots so alpha by 2 beta plus beta by 2 alpha and it would be 2 uh it would be 2 alpha uh 2 alpha beta and we just did the lcm over here and this would be alpha square plus beta square so alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta divided by 2 alpha beta. And we know the value of alpha plus beta. We know the value of alpha beta. We know the value of alpha beta. So I'm going to simply put the values over here. And I'm going to get my SOR from this uh, particular formation. <clears throat> so 5 by 3 whole square minus 2 into 1 by 3 divided by 2 into, oh sorry, 2 multiplied with 1 by 3. So the answer is, of this entire thing is uh, <coughs> 19 over 6. Now, I'm going to find my product, POR, and it would be alpha by 2 beta multiplied with beta by 2 alpha and the value is alpha beta divided by 4 alpha beta and we know the value of alpha beta we know the value of alpha beta over here as well so alpha beta is 1 by 3 4 multiplied with 1 by 3 and the final answer is one uh, final answer is 1 by 4 so all I have to do now, I have to put these values into my formula. So x square minus 19 by 6x plus 1 by 4 and that is equals to 0. But it has to be a coefficient. It has to be a coefficient. Uh, it has to be an integer coefficient. So I'm going to multiply this entire thing with, I think, 12. Yeah, 12. It becomes 12x squared minus 38x plus 3 equals to 0. So that's the final answer. Thank you.